during the spring and summer. Allergy sufferers take antihistamines to keep allergies under control. Antihistamines are the standard treatment for allergies and itching, but often in the case of eczema patients with acute itch flares, the drugs don't help. Dermatologist and Associate Professor of Medicine Dr. Brian Kim is co-director of the Center for the Study of Itch and Sensory Disorders at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. His goal is to understand itch, which can lead to treatments and relief. In this case, he wants to help eczema patients who suffer from debilitating itch. Patients in the clinic show up and they say, hey, I had a terrible weekend. I went to my grandmother's house and she has this cat. And every time I go there, my eczema just itches like crazy. And the itching is just unbearable. Uh, we have patients say springtime comes, my eczema flares terribly and I can't really get outside. It's so itchy. So we thought maybe this is the missing link is that, okay, not the rash, but it's the itching. His research shows that allergens in the environment are often to blame for episodes of acute itch in eczema patients, determined to get answers about why this happens and why antihistamines to treat allergies don't always help. Dr. Kim became principal investigator for groundbreaking research. You have antibodies circulating in your blood called IgE. The thing that always bothers us about eczema is that we knew that patients with eczema have IgE against a, uh, a whole host of environmental allergens, but we never knew what it did. We have traditionally attributed to acting through one cell in particular, and this cell is called the mast cell. And these mast cells are in the skin. Well, what was surprising is that when we modeled eczema in the setting of eczema, the mass and mast cells aren't that important. And the itching doesn't respond to antihistamines because the itch signals are being carried to the brain along a previously unrecognized pathway that current drugs don't target. It's this really rare cell, but potent cell in the blood called the basophil that we thought had no real clear function. Turns out to be very important in triggering acute itch flares in eczema. But what happens in eczema is that these rare basophils in the blood become the primary responders to allergen. And they release not just histamine, but another molecule called leukotriene C4, which is very, very potent at activating itch. So this now starts to explain why maybe in some patients with eczema, taking antihistamines might be helpful for some of these acute itch flares, but for the majority of them, it's not helpful. And it's because it's actually a different circuit. This really gets fundamentally at the idea that, you know, why do antihistamines not work? Why do I have acute itch flares? And why is eczema really, truly an allergic disease? Kim says if they can block this pathway with drugs, it may become a strategy for a possible new drug target. Very important for acute itch flares and eczema, but it may also be use useful for other kinds of itch. We don't, we, we don't know that yet. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, and if that is the case, yes, absolutely. This is a very, very druggable target you could easily develop an antagonist for it, potentially develop it, not just for acute itch flares and eczema, but maybe other, many other forms of itch. Almost every allergic disorder has some lack of response to antihistamines as well, a very significant lack of response. So the question then is what's left? And the pathway that we've discovered may actually be very, very important, not just for itching, but a variety of other allergic processes, whether it's hay fever, coughing or wheezing and asthma, bowel discomfort, in food allergy. So that's where we can actually potentially develop new drugs to target this pathway to alleviate many of those other processes. So this is really the beginning. This whole field just started in the last 10 years. We used to think itch really wasn't a symptom or even a sensation unto itself. We thought it was a mild form of pain. So this is really a new revolution. And now that we've uncorked the idea that not only can we target itch, there are many different yeah. forms of itch. This has now just opened up a whole new way of thinking and developing drugs and going after these things one by one, maybe multiple itches at once.